PlayStation officially closes. Ooh, uh, that's the one that uh, Jamin Ray, Jamin, Jamin, Raymond, what? Raymond Jade, Jade Raymond. I forget what, something like that. Uh, Sony has officially completed the process of acquiring Haven Media and and um, uh, Bungie, adding Jade Raymond led the studios to PlayStation's first party roster. There has been an ongoing acquisition war in recent year recent years of which Sony has also been a part. Some of the biggest corp, uh, corporations like Microsoft Gaming, Xbox, Embraces Group, and of course Sony have been acquiring game development studios big and small to expand their first party offerings. Jade Raymond, yeah, Jade Raymond. Jade like the jewel and Raymond like uh, Usher. In the last couple of years, Sony has acquired multiple studios from longtime collaborators like Blue Point Games and House Marquee to smaller support studios like Nexus Software, Valkyrie Entertainment, and Fire Sprite. Along with Bungie, the creator of Halo and Destiny, Sony drastically expanded its list of studios last year. Haven Media is the latest studio to join the publisher as a first-party developer. It's official. The agreed upon the agreement to acquire Haven has closed. Welcome to the PlayStation Studios family. Uh, congratulations to her, man. I liked her. I liked her when I saw her interview. Uh, it wasn't an interview when I saw the little uh, the the I forget the I forget what the video was, but I saw her in a, in a Google video and I liked how she talked. Uh, she was in charge of creating the first three Assassin's Creed games, and she was the head of Stadia Games. Yeah, yeah, I know who, who she is, but I'm just really bad in, with names, so I kept forgetting. Okay, couldn't get it right. While Haven Media doesn't have any games under its portfolio, having formed last year itself, it does bring a lot of promise for the future. The Montreal, Canada-based studio is led by... J the only reason that that deal happened was because Jade Raymond came from Google. You don't agree? I mean, and and she does have Assassin's Creed. For the same reason, I'll say I'll, I'll, I'll step back a little bit. For the same reason that she went to Google, she went to Sony. But in addition, that's for her being in Google because the tech is good there. She knows he has a lot of information. Uh, she went to Sony because they don't have any games to their to their lineup. You know what I mean? who created multiple well-known franchises during her time at Ubisoft. And I wonder if she went to Google because the relationship between her and Ubisoft. Uh, she took on producer role during the development of the first two Assassin's Creed titles, which set the president for Ubisoft's flagship franchise. She also took on an executive producer role for Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell, Blacklist, and Watch Dogs, as well as managing director role of Assassin's Creed Unity and Far Cry. Okay, I'll take it back. She, she's, pretty, she's pretty awesome. After leaving Google Stadia Games and Entertainment Division in early 2021, the former Haven Media to create, she, she formed Haven Media to create original, IPs for PlayStation, following which the studio has been acquired a year later. Oh, so she left, pitched. She must have pitched her games to PlayStation, and then they just bought up her bought up her studio. Is that what it is? People think she will bring the state of cloud negative game that she was working on. She people think she will bring the stadia cloud native game that's yeah 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 the one that that japanese guy was working on right new info on haven studio growth from around 50 devs to 106 hiring many veteran talents and engineers becoming a playstation leader in r d and cloud tech helping others playstation studios and impressive mark cerny hybrid remote and in studio workspaces just good looking too PlayStation officially announced the news of the acquisition and it was completely completed today. Over time, the studio has grown from 50 developers to about 106 and has been working on upcoming titles. They have become leaders in cloud tech development. See, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. They have become leaders in cloud tech development and R&D, working in close collaboration with other PlayStation studios. So, Cowboy, you want to you wanna make that uh, your next... Um, your next uh, a topic. Did Jade Raymond get hired by or get bought out by PlayStation because 
she was uh, working for Google Stadia. You know what I mean? I don't think that's a coincidence right there. Huh? I mean, because she was there through the development of the technology. You know what I mean? And then I wonder how much... I wonder how much uh, pool she's going to have and what she's allowed to say. I'm assuming that if PlayStation comes up with like Stream Connect or like, you know what I mean? Something like that. They have to be able to hide it really well. <clears throat> Otherwise, that could be that could be bad news, no? You don't think so? No, no. The Japanese guy is Keiji uh, Kojima. And he is working with Xbox to bring it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. I forget about the... Uh, you are 100 percent right during the unreal engine 5 reveal showcase the studio was confirmed to be one of the many that are currently working with the latest and greatest ue5 for the ps5 they are also working in close collaboration with mark cerny the lead developer of both the ps4 and ps5 aside from a technical aspect the studio is also encouraging a hybrid work culture with developers collaborating via cloud from the comfort of their homes all in all while heavy media might not have any flagship titles to show for it a development its development of technology rooted in the future will certainly be impactful in the future of gaming so yeah man that kind of left a bad taste in my mouth because um i'm sure she's talented obviously she was talented before google stated so i don't want to take anything away from her but it is convenient that you know uh arguably between google stadia and gfn the best cloud technology uh she was privy to that information her studio after Stadia Games and Entertainment closed, so she didn't get taken from Stadia. The studio, yeah, I know, I know, I know that I know that Stadia closed SGNE. She left, created her studio, uh, must have gone to PlayStation to pitch a game, and then uh, PlayStation must have been like, hmm, she must know something. Yeah, no, I understand that part. But I'm saying, if she doesn't have any games to her, to the, if the studio, if Heavy Studio doesn't have any games to their, uh, uh, in their inventory, in their roller decks or whatever, then PlayStation bought Heaven because of uh, Jay Raymond, right? So that's be, so this, they get her because of her previous experiences, experience with Ubisoft, or did they get her because of you know? Uh, what she must have learned working with Google Stadia. Yeah, I know it sounds like I'm bit bitter, but I'm not. I'm just saying there's a good chance that PlayStation understood that uh, they can improve their cloud technology by having her a part of the team. Yeah, yeah, that is smart of PlayStation. You know what I mean? Especially because, you know, um, as far as I understand, I haven't played... Uh, you you have more experience with uh, playing on the cloud with PlayStation, but um, you know it seems like even though they had the technology first, you know back when cloud gaming was a concept, <clears throat> and they bought out you know they bought all these other companies with a cloud uh, technology, um, they weren't really standing out to me in my opinion. You know what I mean? But then again, I'm not a console guy, so. Yeah, they bought online but didn't do much with it uh, online. And also, um, Gakuin or something like that. Gakuin. It's a Japanese name. I can't remember. But I don't think she will help PlayStation Cloud better. She is a game developer, so she will simply bring games. Yeah, cloud-based games, though. I mean, I agree with you. That was a smart move from Sony. But I guarantee you she had an idea for cloud games while she was on Stadia. And that's probably what motivated her to uh, create another studio. And it's probably why she pitched to PlayStation to be able to get acquired by them. You know what I mean? Um, I'm 100% with you, man. They're, that's smart from PlayStation. But it makes sense that whatever those few years that she was with Google Stadia and you know, brainstorming cloud gaming uh, ideas... Um, She's got to have a few there in there, especially when she knew what the capabilities of the technology is, because we only see what's been released. We don't know what what's planned in the future. We don't know the features that have been planned, uh, and I'm sure she does. 
I totally agree with you and it's smart for her to she no longer had a job so why not plus she, I'm, i guarantee you she felt bad for her team and she probably brought a, a bunch of them over to do what she, she basically did what uh conan o'brien did when she, he lost the tonight show she was doing it without getting in trouble i'm sure she would get sued if she took the game yeah but so the problem see so the thing is that uh with technology and I know a little bit about this because I was following that Google Samsung uh, lawsuit, the billions of dollars of lawsuits or whatever that Google lost in Korea, but that uh, they won in the U.S. conveniently. Is um, is that some of the features uh, are like if it's a very specific feature, like the case with uh, Samsung and Google was, you know, what happened when you get to the end of a picture that action it was very specific to apple so they can say oh see how ours does that and theirs does that and they were came after so they stole that so that was one of that's a big deal uh but another one is the code you know what i mean so jamin raid might be raid jade raymond might be able to help with the technology features and and, and things like that but i'm sure that if you know she probably doesn't know the code but i'm sure that if she shares like proprietary information that's when she would get in trouble you see what i'm saying 